Allison and Voices of the Choir of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Otsun Ikiti, and that of the students of Adventist Comprehensive High School, Otsun Ikiti, Ikiti State, at intervals, manifesting in the sweet hymns which they sang with gumptions of ecstasies, God's guests and congregants dancing, and crooning along on Saturday, November 27, 2021. This moment of elated bliss were at the special service held to commemorate the first year coronation anniversary of Olori Odua, His Royal Majesty, Oba Dr. Adikunli Adiayo Adiagu, Ilufemi Luye I, the Ori of Otunikiti, and the paramount ruler of Mobaland. <laughs> Celebrating the first 365 days of meaningful monarchy and purposeful royal leadership, guests made their way to the ancient cathedral of the House of God, where they all thank God for the life of the Kambiisi. <laughs> While tracing the historical importance of the position of the Uri, Pastor Oyeleke Uwulabi in the sermon described Obadiagbo as a product of God's grace. <laughs> The intermittent and tuneful puritanical hymns soon paved way for more glorious times at the Thanksgiving session proper. <laughs> The celebration had begun days earlier with a series of activities to mark the anniversary. <laughs> One of such activities was the renovation and handing over of the set of classroom blocks to Moba Grammar School or Twenkiti on Thursday, November 25th, 2021. Under the superintendence of Elder Shegumban Kole, who was the national president of Egbe Omoto, the event which attracted great personalities of the community and the old students association saw to the successful handing over of the classroom block to the school as a philanthropic gesture. That by the special grace of God, we have not finished yet. We have just begun. Amen. You know, every among us are brought, are committed to Mama Grammar School, and they are also committed to every other institutions in in Oton, not just Mama. But the the only thing that I would want to say is that let us be committed, and I'm sure that by the special grace of God, we can always move mountain. Indeed. The entire town of Otsum bubbled for the days the grand celebrations lasted. Back 
in the palace, the Uri kept receiving guests who paid him tributes and homages. <laughs> Later, there was the historic presentation of the book Iton Uri or Tun Atimoba, written by the late Honorable David Aremu Atolagbe. <laughs> the event, which was done under the chairmanship of His Royal Majesty Oba Adidukun Abolarin, the Orangun of Ukeila, was hosted by the son of the deceased author, Professor Ebu Atolagbe. You be sure at the point of books of this great man and his major assignment in this world was to liberate the Mora people from the Illori hegemony. That was his major assignment, yeah. And it was a total, it was an aggressive, it was an aggressive war in court. Many dignitaries in UK Many petitions were written, and through his education, was, was able to bring the mobile people. He was the undisputed leader of the mobile people. Yes, he, was. he was the leader of the mobile people. Because of his insatiable love for the mobile people, here was a man who had the opportunity of reading law in the UK. And he abandoned that ambition for the good of his people. And he was encouraging, he was encouraging the succeeding generation. Kitia Bola, LFI Law, Professor this, Professor that, from Otsu. To go to school. And today, you now have Otsu people all over the world. They are citizens of the world. I've read it over and over again as a young scholar. And I want each and every one of us to lay hands on me. And wherever you are, we have to encourage our young ones. Hey, imagine Kiba Mama Kowe in 1947. Ibo Lotu Ibawa. All the information gone. Honorable David Ayamatalade is a great son of Mamana, a trailblazer, a fisher, a man of resident character, a man that is dexterous, a man that is a perfect man for the sons and daughters of Mamana. Today we are gathered. Because it was one that moved so many sons from Ottawa to Ibadan. And they were able to collide with Pesci. And they became educated. And we are here today. Ori. The book is The History of Ori, Otto and Moba. I will start. What is the meaning of Ori? Ori means Olore Odudua. Olore Obidua. This throne is known for benevolence. It's known for goodness. It's known for prosperity. It's known for increase. This is a town that lost strangers. We have the Osa community here over 200 years. They live with us harmoniously. Otto, the meaning of Otto means to research. And Moba means a mother who came from Lagos. I remember I was just about three years old when he started asking me to start reading. Hello, somebody. And I remember there were so many people around at that time. And we gathered us all together and started the alphabet to do as soon as we were at that time. He treasured writing. We can count about six books of his that he wrote. And this one happens to be one of them. And this is the most important to me of all the books because of what it means to us. This book 
actually put onto in the right perspective, in the right place in the history of Yoruba land. And I don't want to say much about this because I really don't. It's, a, uh, it's amazing that Oba Aurelikai knows about my dad more in terms of his politics, his policy, his books more than I do. And the book was revealed by Barrister Yinka Awuyinka. History, the genesis of every noted traditional land in the land. Number five, number five, the founding of our town. Then from Ilese was out of the moon from Ilese, going from locality, from station to station. Later that night, the arrival of the Oni of Ife. Beyond the entertainment, the Onyo was led to the Awu market to preside over the performance of some rites and libations to appease the Aesu deity. The series of events marking the coronation anniversary climaxed on Friday, November 26th. Once again, the magisterial presence of the Onyo was felt as it was ushered in by the Uri, who was also richly robed in garments of royalty. <laughs> The
The dignitaries at the event will converge in the fineries at the Palace Square, including the traditional rulers, politicians, business tycoons, technocrats, and professionals from all over the country who have all come to felicitate with you. <laughs> Series of cultural entertainments were performed to through the royals, guests, and community folks. Then, the business of the day rolled in as worthy indigents and citizens were conferred with chieftaincy titles, honors, and merit awards. <laughs> The stories of great men have most times begun with humble beginnings, fine-tuned by the doggedness and tenacity of purpose. This is the story of His Royal Majesty, Obadi Kunli Adiayo Adiago Ilufemiluye the first. From the Ile Eye Aba ruling dynasty of Otunwekiti in Moba land, Adikuni Adiayo Adiagbo is a descendant of Uri Okimbaloye that signed the Ikiti Barapo Treaty in 1886. He is the grandson of Prince Sani Adiagbo, the promoter of the action group of late sage chief Obafemawolo. His father, Honorable Adibo Ali Adiagbo, was a member of the Federal House of Representatives a product of the prestigious International School, University of Ibadan, Ibadan and Obafema Oluo University, Ileife. Oba Adikunle Adeayo Adeagbo is an international businessman and a blue economist that is well-traveled and internationally exposed. For a man who had royal blood running through his veins, the journey to the throne was not, however, without tumult. His humaneness, charisma, leadership, and human management qualities, however, paid off for him and despite all odds, he ascended the throne of his forebearers, thus making him the 22nd Uri of Otsu, Moba land. Tradition has it that the Uri, who is also known as Omolukun at one time or the other, was at Ileife and had a very strong relationship with Ududua, the progenitor of the Yorubas. During his stay at Ileife, Ududua mysteriously went blind and efforts to restore his sight proved abortive. It was Omolukun, now Uri. Who consulted the Ifa Oracle on behalf of Ududua and said that except they fetch water from the ocean to prepare certain things, Ududua's eyesight would not be restored. It was one of Ududua's youngest children, Ajibugun, who volunteered to go and fetch the water, with which Ori did all the necessary rituals and washed the eyes of Ududua, and his eyesight was restored. <laughs> This feat performed by Ori endeared him to Odudua to the extent that he called him Uluremi, meaning my benefactor. This was how Ori derived his name. Having been selected by the Kingmakers on May 5, 2020, to fill the vacant stool of Ori of Otsunekiti, Obade Agbo's candidacy was readily acceptable to the people of the community due to his track record and level of exposure. A year after, Obade Kunle Adeagbo has not relented in the task of improving the lots of the people of Otsunekiti and Moba land. 
after unfolding its economic blueprint, which included human capital development in education and workforce. The enhancement of the people's cultural heritage and to uphold the, the prominent and leading role of, of the Ore throne in Yoruba land. Beginning with the beautification and architectural upgrading of the Ore place, Obadiagbo has demonstrated his seriousness at turning around the fortunes of the community within such a short space of time. Today, for Kabiesi, it is worthy to know that it has been peaceful and eventful for Autumn, given his track record in just one year on the throne. He is great in achievement, but greater still in promise. All to indigents at home and in the diaspora are very proud of him and appreciate his contributions to the peace, progress and development of Mobaland. This was the ultimate reason why they all turned up to felicitate with him in a big way all week long. The regal lustre and royal splendor of, of the coronation anniversary celebrations ultimately culminated in unlimited musical frills as <laughs> Arunai Shola and his band began thrilling everyone at the palace grounds, dishing out melodious songs which got everyone dancing till the end of the day. <laughs> Red Carpet TV spoke with the KBAC, some newly installed chiefs and others. All the action has been very uh, good in the receiving of his domain. Selling uh, this kingdom has been trying his best. And he's bringing new innovations here and he's bringing his people together from work, all walks of life. Okay, they sir. are doing fine. You can see people from Lagos, people from uh, uh, overseas. They are in Norton right now. And for him to move on the office from Ife to Otto, we know that it's a special order. And uh, it's somebody who is close to all. I pray for a very successful reign for him. He has started well. I'm sure he will reign for a long period in good health and prosperity. A man of culture. A man of grandeur, somebody that is so much in a hurry to develop Otto, somebody so determined to bring back the lost glory of Mabaland. I would say it is high time we all come home to support our land, no matter how little, no matter how small, please let's come home. It was very painful when we lost the former king, Barita Gokopola, but God in his civilness by his mercy. Bless us with another very fantastic young man who is very determined to uplift the lost glory of this community. Please let us all come. Whatever we can do, whatever we can assist to lift this community up, we need it. But we see us lacking behind. It requires all our hands to be on the deck to achieve that developmental uh, goal we are targeting. We all need to come up. And do one thing or the other to assist at this company. I'm very glad. It's a fulfilled ambition and life. 
Thank you, KBC, Uri of Fatma, for this high-level privilege. Well, I am anxious to tell him that uh, he is a fantastic young man and that he, he has all the dynamism, in fact, the aggressiveness that he requires under his current circumstances to succeed. I mean, um, history is something you cannot put aside. Autumn, as I call it, Asian city. It's a green land, land that is on the centers of so many towns. A town that's got so many history, actually with connection with Odudua, is it's, it's just wonderful. I mean, um, as you all know, we've always been lucky to have a great KBC in Autumn. I mean, as little as I am, I've witnessed about the third KBC now. His personalities is great. Is a lover of God and a lover of his people. And you can see from what you've seen so far, you can see that um, he's a man of connections. He has everywhere, he's ready to listen to people, he's ready to do the will of his people, and he's ready to move on to, to the next greater part. Because a year on a throw, it's like 10 years now. He has done well, he has turned on to, to something else. We have gone back to the map where we're meant to be. And it's awesome. I think uh, so far so good and God has been very good to us as a community and uh, for the first time in living history all of us young old agreed and decided that we will support our community for its growth and development it's unprecedented in fact when we started it was like a joke but at the end of the day I mean what has come into reality is really, really very wonderful. And we thank God for his mercy. It's everywhere is a dog. Now people, you can see people all in white. We are so happy because the king has lifted even our position to, he has put us in the right pedestal. You know, we are moving the way we are supposed to move. The one year anniversary that he has done, he has put AKT and even himself in a very steady position. When it comes to traditional things, he was in Ife, he was in Wari, he was in uh, Bono. He's now the national he's now a member of the National Council of Traditional Rulers. So he's moving forward and we saw and we see that he's taking strides that are giant like and we are all coming together to assist him. Uh, he, he cannot do it alone. So we, everybody around here, we are coming together to make sure that we are assisting to make our town a bigger thing. It's really, really great. Since the inception of this uh, uh, KBC, you can see a lot of positive changes. Starting from the infrastructure of the palace itself, the buildings, the, 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 the whole setup, you can see he, he has changed and give a new look to the entire palace. And more positive things are coming into the town of Otmikiti. So we are glad to have a, cost, a cosmopolitan person like him as our king. We are very, very happy. The, 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 the narratives of Otun Kingdom are very fascinating and educative for our country. The foundation is that of love, unity, is that of um, taking care of the handicapped and the poor, and that of prosperity, you know, fruitfulness. These all have factors leading to them. And um, with our Ore right now, who is on the throne, uh, Kabeishi, Dr. Oba, Adekunle, Adeayo, uh, Adeago, uh, it's a God gift to this kingdom. And uh, we will give him all the support. Also, taking into consideration that he came 
to be part of our special event when we are about to start up the new um, uh, process that culminated to the coronation of the Oluofori Ogiame Atuashe the third. He, he, you know, the love he expressed was phenomenal. Dr. Roland Orisha yeah, for the Ogwa of Wari. We are not here on our own capacity. We are being mandated here by the Ulu of Wari, Agiyame, Atuashe the third. Otu Kidom is our Kidom. Otu Kidom and uh, Wari Kidom originated from Oruduwa, the same ancestral group. So we are here to strengthen our ties with Otokido. And may Almighty God bless the monarch, guide him, protect him, and may his reign be free of crime. Uh, the Kabezi and I have known each other for over 40 years when he was still a very young man. And I could see him then, greatness. And I'm happy to be associated with him. I come here not uh, because of uh, anniversary, I come here off, off, uh, often to celebrate with him, to celebrate what he has turned Mobile into one, what he has turned the palace into within within a year. It has been awesome. And uh, I've been monitoring uh, the events since Monday, which have been tremendous. I don't think uh, Mobile Land or, and uh, 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 or in particular can have something better than this. Roads, you understand, you can see that it's highly connected. You see people from different areas coming, you see houses, you see the Fulanis, you see the Nupes, you see Yorubas, the Ibos, everybody. People coming from Wari. That shows that uh, he is highly connected socially. He relates to people. And that is great. And that's the most important thing. Because there are a lot of benefits that you are going to derive in that. What we have seen today is one of the things that uh, I will, will recommend that in all the kingdoms should be done. Because where you have the assemblage of dignities of this nature, it's, it's, it shows and signifies a lot of things. And it's, it's marvelous. And we will recommend that uh, other, other obas that are of the same status with the with the with the Oba here can initiate such such from time to time so that we can be moving around and that will unite us more than before. Congratulations to my Kabese Owara. His correlations today. And he gave me chief density also. I am very glad and pleasure. And only also put my leave. It's another pleasure for me. Wow. In this blessed country, Nigeria. Wow. Thank you for everybody. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we felicitate with the entire people of Mobile Land. And we say congratulations to Kabiesi, Olofin, Adimula, Omolokun, Ulure Odua. His Royal Majesty, Oba Dr. Adikunle Adiayo Adiago Ilufemiloye the First, the Ore of Otu Ekiti, and the paramount ruler of Mobile Land, as he celebrates a year on the throne of his ancestors. <laughs> Thank you.
Bagaimana? 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 B